Hello Linux fans, Rob here and welcome to Linux Quest. Today we've got a spotlight on the Arch Merge distribution. And I'm not going to focus in on all of the settings and, and different applications that are installed or go into details of configuration or anything like that. I want to hop right over to the archmerge.com website and kind of focus in on the reason for the spotlight here. And that is their motto, learn, have fun, and enjoy. The part I want to focus in on is the learning part. And this is where Arch Merge kind of stands out from some of the other distributions. So we're going to jump up to start here. We're going to skip over the Arch Merge gallery and the installation. We're going to go on down here to the YouTube overview. Now this is an area that, again, you don't find in every distribution. There's been a tremendous amount of time spent in a series of videos. It's already a YouTube playlist set up that steps you through. And I apologize for my slow internet. We had a storm here uh, today, a, a pretty heavy duty storm. And, and since then the internet has slowed way down, but you'll see these populate here. And this is a series of videos to help you learn what it is about Arch, er, or Arch Merge, Arch Urge, Arch Merge, that you'll be dealing with once you get things set up. It steps through how to burn an ISO to USB, how to install Arch Merge, um, you know, videos are a great way to learn. Tutorials are good. You know, sitting there reading through text can sometimes get a little mundane. But videos, uh, I think, are the best way to learn. And I want to just also give a shout out to Eric Dubois, who probably is the one who did the majority of these videos. I haven't watched all of them. But here you see uh, 200 and, or the 288 script to use all cores. Um, 35 how to install, I guess this is the video number, uh, how to install Arch Merge, um, how to burn ISO, okay, we've, we've gone over that, overview of the i3 desktop, how to install OpenBox, just a very impressive list, uh, fixing can't read temp in i3 status config, so on and on and on, and so that's the reason for the spotlight, I think if you're someone new to Linux, um, here is a distribution or a team of people who have decided that uh, it's not only good to put out you know, a very nice operating system, but it's also good to be helpful and to help people learn you know, how do you install it. And once it's installed, you know, what am I dealing with? You know, what are the various packages? What are the various settings? Uh, what are the various options? that I have once I've got things set up. And then if you run into problems, there's also an area for that. And I believe that's under tutorials. Let's go down here to tutorials, see what we've got. Oh, I remember where that is. Well, we'll look here under tutorials. They have phases, phase one, phase two, phase three, phase four. So, uh, you know, the different phases are going to talk about the different um, desktop environments, XFCE, OpenBox, and i3. Arch Merge D, that is the stripped down, extremely light version of Arch Merge, and I'll speak more to that in just a minute. Uh, with that, you don't even get a desktop. You can just choose to install XFCE3 or uh, XFCE4, OpenBox, or i3. So uh, I like the way things are, are laid out here as well. All right, so that's over at archmerge.com, and I'll have a link to that. Now let's jump on over, and I'm going to go quickly through. This is the, I'm going to say, the full suite of Arch Merge. This is everything in the kitchen sink. Um, it's not really overly bloated. There's a lot of high-quality software in here. Let's just kind of quickly go through a list. Adobe Flash is set up, and I'm going to skip over some of these that are you know, more default that you would see in typically most app or most uh, Linux operating systems. You've got appearance to customize the look, application finder. Uh, let's keep on going here. Bluetooth configuration, catfish file search. Chromium was set up and I'm ready to go. Conky's in. I want to talk about that. That's the fun aspect. Uh, so we'll take a quick look at that. And that's not something you will find in every distribution. Uh, let's keep rolling here. There's a built-in dictionary. Electron, that was there from where I installed the Hiri email app. Evolution is one of the default, or it is the default mail handler for email, calendar, contacts. Firefox was set up. FileZilla was set up. 
firewall configuration, font manager. Uh, let's keep on moving. Your HP device manager was set up as well as cups, ink space, and LibreOffice is your default office suite there. Lollipop, I'm not real familiar with that, but I need to be. Play and organize your music collection. Uh, there's cups. Uh, meld, compare and merge your files. That's a handy tool, by the way. Um, keep rolling here. I installed OBS. Uh, let's see, that allows you to customize your panel. There's Plank, that's what we see on the left here. Uh, VLC, I installed. I installed Simple Screen Recorder. You've got XF Burn, uh, Parole Media Player. So, very nice list. Okay, I, I got on the wrong category there. I knew there was more. Uh, Peak, Record Short Animated GIFs or GIFs, Parole Media Player. Keep on rolling. Pulse was already set up for you. Redshift is already set up to protect those eyes at night. Settings Manager, keep going here. Uh, Time Shift, which is a nice system restore utility. That was set up. And another fun aspect here is Variety. We'll take a look at that as well. And then you get into your Window Manager tweaks, XFCE panel tweaks, various terminals and workspace, things like that. So this is a I want to say a full featured operating system, but if you're someone who just wants a stripped down version, you want to go for the Arch Merge D and then build that system up yourself. I'd say that's more for, you know, an experienced Linux user. All right, a couple things here just to point out some of the fun things that kind of stand out, uh, things that you don't always see set up on a distro, and we'll go over to Conky's in. That's this widget here, and there's... Um, several of those in place here more than I think I've seen on a on any other distro and we'll kind of look at that list here so I've got the minimal clock in place but you know if you start here at the top and start scrolling down this is a very nice large collection of conky widgets so let's just kind of look at clock blue we'll choose another one click OK you'll see that one disappear okay that looks like okay there we go that's actually got two so let me go back. I forgot to uncheck the other one. So let's go back into Conky's in and we'll uncheck the minimal clock. And now you see, now it's actually a very nice look. Um, so you can play around with those. That's again part of the fun aspect. And then the other thing I wanted to point out here quickly is variety. And this allows you to set up automatic changing of your wallpaper. Uh, it could be under you know different directories or the built-in images that we see here. So you could go next, and it's going to change automatically. So we we'll click on that again, go back to previous, and then I'm going to right-click and let's go to preferences. There's more to variety than first meets the eye. There's lots of options and settings where you can go in. You could set up the timing, change the wallpaper every five hours. I've got selected here. Um, you can go in and choose different directories for the images, things like that, various effects, uh, color size, tips, so on and so forth. So again, part of the fun aspect of working with something like Variety. And so if you're new to Linux, just know that the fun part is a bit big aspect um, for most Linux operating systems because there's a tremendous amount of software to discover out there that in majority of it is absolutely free free as in free beer um, you know not not free to make but at any rate um, for you the user uh, you've got lots of things to discover learn and have fun with so again I just thought that uh, Arch Merge deserved a little spotlight for their effort on the learning side so I urge you to check it out, and especially if you're new and you're exploring, just go check out their videos. You don't have to go download Arch Merge and do the install. Just go check out the videos and see what it is you're getting into, and I think you'll appreciate what they've done. All right, that's it for now. As always, thanks for watching.